Hey, I'm Wayne Hugh. This is the VC Taxi, where founders can pitch me and get real-time feedback on their ideas. Let's go for a ride. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Well, I'm the co-founder and CEO at Nearshore. We are building the fastest way for businesses to produce physical products in the U.S. and Latin America. On the factory side, we partner with some of the largest factories in the country. We um, are automating the coding process and escrow process. And on the brand side, we, in a few days, we're launching Luna AI, which is essentially a guided AI flow for businesses to capture everything that they need in order to, for our factories to quote. Mm. Uh, can I ask on the, the manufacturer side, mm -hmm. is there any behavior shift that, that's required to, for them to adopt, I guess, your standard of how you present data or structure oh my gosh. data? Yeah, yeah. Have you built something before? How did you no. do that? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of behavior change. There's a lot of behavior change. Because I've created a similar business prior to this, I already had established relationships. And so it's this macro trend of businesses going from large batch production to like smaller read and react programs like H&M and Zara mm -hmm. are doing these like read and react programs. So smaller batch, faster turnaround times, more regional. You know, they're seeing all these trends and they want to be a part of it and they don't know how. They're now really excited to be a part of this um, because it's making their life easier and taking things that they usually would do take days to do, like the quoting process, yep. that's now instant for them. Recently, we had this established pet leash brand to come onto the platform. Um, they were producing 10,000 units in China and wanted to find a local factory. Mm -hmm. So they came on, um, put in an RFQ to the platform. Some of our factories saw it, requested. They were matched with five factories and are already producing samples just in a few days. And they have a bunch of other products that they want to bring near shore now too. So, um, so that's been really exciting to see, um, just like all of these like macro shifts and pieces coming together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the why now for this um, makes total sense. And I think um, AI is also a, a fantastic enabler. We've seen a lot of companies scale uh, on with a, a similar value proposition on the brand side for automated quoting. And I mm -hmm. love how you're, this is um, not just a point solution for you. It's kind of like a, a piece in a broader, um, sort of a market network uh, of sorts, which um, which I love. What are the other kind of biggest challenges or, or issues you're working through in the business right now? I mean, I think that because it's a new and novel, it's a new product in the industry, there is some you know education that we're doing as a part of that to let people know. So we're putting effort into the partnerships and to onboarding. We, you know, sometimes I'm personally chatting with some of our largest suppliers so that they know that they're getting the like, VIP treatment and these aren't like small suppliers like some of our suppliers are making like over 50 million a year. Can I ask where is the boundary of where um, AI and automation can handle the job versus kind of where you still need human weight? It's a complex product. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to work for everybody and not hallucinate. The way that we structured it was um, several specialized agents with specialized jobs and then there's an orchestration agent on top. So that reduces that risk of like the hallucination for the for the tool. Yeah, yeah, I love the I love the model generally. You know, at Signifier we we invest in a lot of uh, market networks or, mm -hmm. and and um, what I love about it is there's a lot of industries where the value of automation is very clear, mm -hmm. uh, but they may not um, they may not have very large software IT budgets necessarily. They actually control, they have tremendous influence over very large transactions. And if you can actually provide a piece of workflow that embeds yourself on both sides and you could yeah. monetize on the transaction itself, it's like, um, I think there's a great win-win where, um, you know, you can you can build a business model that's aligned with sort of, you know, um, budget poor, software budget poor, uh, transaction rich, uh, you know, buyers on the other end. I do think a lot of AI diffusion is gonna happen through, um, to your point, uh, the folks who, who have the, the relationships and could do, I'm not gonna say consulting, but maybe originally had built up, you know, strategic thought partner type relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's fun. It's an exciting time building an yeah. AI. Yeah, exciting to, actually. Yeah. Exciting to see you push uh, push this movement through on, uh, on the manufacturing side further. Yeah, yeah. So if you're thinking about making something, let me know. Like a physical product merge or anything else like that, let me know. Really appreciate yeah. you, you sharing this story. It's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's an area that's, uh, that's desperately in need of an innovation. And, um, excited to see where you take this. Yeah, thank so, you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Great to meet you, Tanya. Take care. You too.
Signalfire is the OG AI VC. We are a firm built like a tech company, powered by Beacon, our AI data platform. We help founders hire faster, grow smarter, and find real customers. We invest from seed through Series B across AI, healthcare, security, and more. Signalfire has offices in San Francisco and New York. Venture capital engineered to ignite your growth. Learn more at signalfire.com.